WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Couldn't get all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 162, S&P's off 11, NASDAQ off by one point. Russell's down by 31. That is the big leader percentage-wise. The trend is really right behind it. They're off 221 percentage-wise, that is. Spot Volatilinix is still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. She's printing at 1686. You've got gold up 14 bucks. Silver's up 21 cents. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. The ES Mini right now just consolidating with inside its daily profile. However, there's a TD9 count topping pattern that formed I believe it was on the uh, 5th of November. So that top remains in place. And if we get a bearish reversal candle today, get to today's trading session, we'll also have a confirmed Rose momentum indicator top. Now, all that means that we should expect or anticipate that price will make its way back to support, and support would be 46.35. Now, the confirmation that we would get a move back to that support level would be the spot volatilinix closing above 17.57. Doesn't have to happen today, but if we do see a close above that, assuming there's not a one-day rate of change greater than plus 10%, that would be our indication of that move lower back to that support area. The NQs, the NQs still have their TD9 count top. Top. That formed out here on November the 5th out there. Price is trading into that swing point. I'll assume at this stage here with light volume, we're going to rip apart the equity future contracts during the Trader's Edge show. Uh, right now, and if you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it completed that one-to-one -one measure, uh, one-to-one A to B equals CD pattern. Right now, you've got a bearish shooting star candle. That would confirm a sell the D point. We would expect price to pull back. We'll have to look at my U.S. dollar index charts to figure out where that might be because it's not going to be, uh, well, I can't say it's not going to be, but uh, I don't think the first target is 9374 which is the uh, top of its daily profile goldilocks did form a new profile yesterday is bearish in structure resistance 1879 support 1813 but the real key to be watching here is the center of that profile which is held so far but if there is a close below 1851.20 that's going to signal move back to the 1813 level silver's got a totally different message it also formed a new profile but it is below price and as you know that is a bullish message there uh, silver also has a td9 count top so we'll put silver in the neutral category um gold in the we're still going to keep it in the neutral territory as well does look like we're going to get a change in trend in light sweet crude that will be confirmed with a close below 80 24 today folks stay tuned for the trader zen show but if you have to start your wednesday have a wonderful one The reality.